Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? Mm. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. You're beginning to creep me out, Arthur. How's it going? Arthur! Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning oh. barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. You know, I never came to America until I was a man. Well, 17. We grew up quick in Vienna. Perhaps too quick. At the age of 12, my brother. Was Where's that horse got to? So steal some bread for us. My little sister Anna. She was sold into servitude by father at the age of nine. She cried so much the day she left. Yep. Yeah. Yep.
Hey, boy. So far, so good. doing here get the hell away from here okay. this is your last run <laughs> Show them how free men do some killing. Damn it! It's okay.
Moves, I go blink before I shoot you. Hurry up in there. Don't. Let's get out of here Please. before the cavalry comes. Wagon's loaded. Move out. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <clears throat> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh... I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy, and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Yep. little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What 
you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for him. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yeah. All right, this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need some. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, say, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Quite broke poor mammy's heart. <sighs> there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? It must have cost you a pretty penny or two. A very good morning to you. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? 
Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <clears throat> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Come along, Fenton! Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Ben. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at a gift horse in the mouth. When I see a gift horse, I don't know. Gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. Bastards from Shadenville. I want one of those sons of bitches. Quick, I see more of them. Arthur! Help me! 
surround That's our boost, damn back! Some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Well, do it quietly. Aren't you cold, dressed in just that? Come out tonight, Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? After which you have some talk, have some talk, have some talk. Her feet covered up the whole sidewalk as she stood close by me. Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight? Can't you come out tonight? Can't you come out tonight? Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight? Can't you come out tonight? Can't you come out tonight? Buffalo gals, can't you come out tonight? Dance by the light of the moon. Buffalo Hello, sir. 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 H
we got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if I'm serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. Yeah! Once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like a lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Passing you.
believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Coming past. Okay. Good morning. Hello. I swear, the bad luck that people have in Valentine. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drive. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. All right, keep it cool. And follow me, fellas. We never decided. Is it this little girl you want or the drunken harlot? I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. But I'm ruined. No. Say. What you tell him? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual, come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles, you take Trelawney back to camp, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess.
Has anyone seen Gavin? <laughs> Welcome. Your first time in my shop? Terrible thing what happened to the parlor house. No surprise the Braithwaites were behind it. Let's have okay, a look. well, maybe some other time. I'll see you when you change your mind. News you wouldn't want to miss. Right here. There's that fella I was telling you. And to core. First time here, I think. Horse brushes and medicine in the corner over there. If you're the sort who needs that kind of thing. Now, let me just look in here. Done.
I hear folks say this town is going downhill. <laughs> It'll take a lot before the genuine roads people let the standards slip, let me tell you. Seen what you're after? Always running out of that. What's caught your eye? Mr. Ballard across the way there is doing a roaring trade all of a sudden. <laughs> Maybe I ought to move. I'm always messing things up. That's too bad. A lot of folks like that. Can't go wrong here, unless you own the place. That's popular. A lot of folks like that. Uh, it's all good, all of it. Here. Always running out of that. No need to bluff. You want one of those little dolls, don't you? Good enough for anyone. Fine. What's going on? 
caught your eye. That's it for now. Okay. Yours. Hello, sir. How's it been treating you? Holy. Got my hair in the butter. That should be good. Bye. Idiot. 